trust me when you get recommended from ssc tech you know there is very less you know you know getting of merit out because in ssc tech mm-hmm. there is no merit out please understand this please remember the three c's you know be calm be composed you know be clever 80% of people come to ssb because of desperation mm-hmm. which is a very bad thing so you so whatever i tell you was never letting me lose so okay. that time i understood that buddy eshwan you have to be calm the more hyper you become you will lose out on this just agree to the fact tell how much it is and learn to lose Hello friends welcome back to Defense Roger and I hope you're doing good. My name is Sheetal Yadav and in today's interview we have Yashwant with us. Yashwant is a two time recommended candidate. He got his first recommendation in his second attempt for Indian Coast Guard and scored all India rank 4. And in his third attempt he had scored all India rank 1 for SSC Tech Entry for Indian Army. So let's welcome Yashwant to our platform Defense Roger. Welcome to Defense Roger. Yashwant, आपकी जर्नी काफी इंस्पायरिंग है यू गॉट रिकमेंडेशन नॉट ओनली वंस बट ट्वाइस फर्स्ट रिकमेंडेशन आपको मिला कोस्ट गार्ड के लिए इंडियन कोस्ट गार्ड के लिए यू स्कोर्ड ऑल इंडिया रैंक फोर एंड ऑन यू थर्ड अटेम्प्ट यू गॉट रिकमेंडेशन फॉर इंडियन आर्मी एस एस सी टेक एंट्री एंड उसके अलावा भी प्रोफेशनल करियर की बात करें यू हैव डन आउटस्टैंडिंग देयर ऑल्सो यू स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम योर इंटर्नशिप टू योर ट्वेल्थ प्लेसमेंट्स in big companies and you've been recently working in one of the mnc with a good decent package and apart from that you're a national level football player you're also a part of red cross society there's so much to talk about you but the question arises what made you you know go for armed forces where this armed forces came into the picture uh first of all sheetal uh, thank you so much for having having me at this stage here you know i've been watching your channel since a very long time and you know actually whatever you know you want to rate it it very very well and uh, coming to your question you know why armed forces you know actually just to take in a conceptual matter armed forces is an organization just like another company it is just an organization which is doing its duty to you know for the nation mm-hmm. so when i take you know consideration of what i do in every day day to day life what are the skills i adapt for myself mm-hmm. and what are the skills you know that army needs that actually matches Okay. For example, if you go to an Amazon interview, you can see the job description. What I actually need. Okay. But if you go to Army, Navy, Air Force interviews, the JD is the 15 oil kits they need. Exactly. And exactly, and, and it just match the following cases. If I have those all those things, and trust me, when you compare Amazon interviews and you know SSB interviews, it's very easy then, because mm-hmm. here you don't have to prepare yourself. You have to prepare, you know, what I know, what I am. That's it. so you know when consider you know from the beginning from my childhood i've been into sports adventure activities ngos you know mm-hmm. serving the nation you know in a different way right so why not let me serve the de- you know nation directly that of being a technical engineer if i'm getting a technical job here mm-hmm. so trust me that would be a better beneficial for myself and for the country also exactly so that's the reason you know why armed forces and mm-hmm. also but last but not the least you know the money the facilities we get you know mm-hmm. the comrade You know, being a gazetted officer at the age of a very young age, mm-hmm. trust me, these all you know are a few fruitful things you know which a candidate can get. Exactly. Yes, yeah, Swant, uh, you went for SSC Tech Entry to join in the army. SSB is some way or the other is the same. But I want to know what make it this entry uh, special in terms of competition, in terms of you know vacancies, in terms of questions and in interview. So how it is different from other SSB? uh she will come into this part you know i have been attended coast guard interview and you know ssb interview and also about a navy interview in the mid between also okay. see the process is same you know mm-hmm. for example coming to ssc tech the competition is really really high you know mm-hmm. as they tell in india in every road there is engineering colleges exactly so that means that you can expect a candidate from each and every road of your country mm-hmm. for example if i go to allahabad i have seen candidates which are reporting of 4 400 plus candidates then they report you know at this at one place it is expected Not, this is a direct entry right exactly it's a direct entry and when you compare to cds entry or naval entry or ssc tech entry mm-hmm. here the competition is very much because the person who comes with, you know ssc tech entry he writes cds also he gives mm-hmm. naval entry also at the same time he can get ssc cadet also exactly in the competition is as it you know it is peak when I mean, you come to ssc tech because when you go to ncc entry there are only ncc people mm-hmm. or cds people who write cds and they come Exactly. and ssc tech is one of the toughest because the screening ratio is very very less mm-hmm. and the intake you know the people who come for the day one you know is very much very higher you know mm-hmm. few people you know, lose confidence just by seeing those people 
and i have been there also it's not that i am i have lost my confidence exactly when i see nalabad you know the whole auditorium vikram bhadra all is filled oh my I'm god like okay we'll be that one in 23 we'll see the next four days that would be my conception but okay. yes you know uh, ssb is a you know very you know easy exam if mm-hmm. you know what actually it is and trust me uh, when you, you know learn you know so when you learn about myself you know learning about yourself is the first thing someone can do mm-hmm. if you know much about it just go and give the exam and it is like a cake for for it and trust me when you get recommended from ssc tech you know there is very less you know you know getting of merit out because in ssc tech mm-hmm. there is no merit out please understand this okay. no you know since the beginning ssc tech for any arm, arm forces entry mm-hmm. may, maybe in army not in navy i don't know but in army there has never been a merit out candidate because okay. the vacancies are always higher for ssc tech and mm-hmm. the recommendation is very low. for example this time the vacancies were somewhere around 130 combined and they recommended for only some 90 80 people okay so yeah so if you, if you are going tgc also then if you don't get merit in tgc you can come to ssc tech so that is the advantage you can get coming into technical background okay so uh, yashwant one thing i got to know that you took no coaching you did everything at your own so i feel like uh, you got recommendation to twice uh, you got recommendation twice so somewhere or the other you have those quality in yourself you know getting uh, to you should you should be eligible for joining armed forces so if somebody is watching this interview and they have upcoming ssb and they are going for their first ssb so how they can utilize these three months uh, you know utilizing this time before the ssb there is the first thing which as a candidate i can tell is now please mm-hmm. don't listen to so many people you know that is something that's the worst thing a, a person can do actually you know mm-hmm. when they are taking you know input from lot of people you know the brain gets distracted exactly see uh, uh, the main thing what i can do is no coaching center can teach you personality it is what you are exactly. what they can do is they can groom you to become a person mm-hmm. they can't tell you what you are because you have to be yourself you have to present yourself there mm-hmm. that is what ssp is for the majorly what people do is you know they take see t- taking coaching is never a bad thing Mm-hmm. Hey, coaching is very good because the more you get adapted to the you know examination thing, the more confident you will be. Exactly. But well, what they do is they adapt the ideas also. That so is that's the worst cool. thing. Mm-hmm. That is the worst thing someone can do because see, I don't tell my friends to adapt my idea and write that story. That's a very you know uh, you know uh, you know foolish thing someone can do. You know when people ask me, you know I have few friends who ask me like, what is the story? What story that you have written? First thing I tell them is please tell me your story first. Okay. Your story can be better than my better than mine. It's not that I have been recommended that my story will be you know fantabulous that you know all get baffled. It's not, never like that. People think in different ways. That's what's mm-hmm. called you know perceive or what you perceive. Mm-hmm. You know, I perceive in what you know things that are going through in my mind, what I've seen in my life. Exactly. So that is the first thing I can do. And second thing, you know, I've been recommended twice. So what made me see? Uh, for instance, in my childhood, I've been into different sports activities, different NGO activities, social mm-hmm. service. right you now red cross football you know this you know these things you know came up to my mind and most of the work is already ticked mm-hmm. when you see when you open join indian army what they are looking for officers there is only 15 you know oil queues they are looking for exactly. and when you just you know, what i've done is you know taken a print out of that oil queues and i've placed it on my wall mm-hmm. and i see that every day where do i match it mm-hmm. for example you know if this you know playing a team sports can you know there are lot of work is are ticking there see what ssb is looking for is you know the simple thing is you have the 15 oil queues exactly ssb is also an exam where you have marking scheme you have to surpass this amount of marks to get recommended mm-hmm. when you know you know whenever you are writing an exam you have to do you know backdoor analysis that is a major thing mm-hmm. you know backdoor analysis in each and every step of your life because mm-hmm. if there is a plan a there is a plan b also there are many different plans to achieve the things exactly so when you have a backdoor analysis you will get to know how to solve a thing Mm. So when they already given the answer, fifteen. There's it's an open book test for us. I have to bring those fifteen oil cues in me. Mm-hmm. Even for the candidates who don't have those fifteen oil cues, it is very easy to adapt them. Mm-hmm. You know, very easy to get a stamina. It is very easy to get confidence. It is very easy to become a team player. It is not something that you have to go take coaching for it. Exactly. And also, you know, when you know all these things, you know, because I've been working also, I've been handling a team of one fifty people in my company. Okay. So. uh and you know, i have seen people of different you know you know kinds where they are ups and downs and handling those people also it gave me a better advantage while talking to people because while i'm in the company i used to talk to 150 people you know in different ideas maybe in their highs maybe in their lows when company was going high when the company was going low meeting their expectations 
taking them into considerations you know that plays in played a major role you know like getting me confident in this you know while going to ssbs exactly. when i went to coast guard it be you know first when i saw people i thought it would be difficult because i was the first you know fresher there but mm-hmm. once i went through you know it is like it is a very normal thing it is just a discussion exactly. we, we don't need a you know high colloquial language or high iq people to pass his examination mm-hmm. a normal person who is clever who is smart who is you know precise concise can clear his examination you know you know when i spoke to my father um, you know i told him that i'm going to ssb mm-hmm. uh, you know he told you know please remember the three c's you know be calm be composed you know be clever so i have okay. been following these three things and it trust me it's been a cake walk for me okay. and whenever you know, ssb is, see you are going to ssb you are meeting you know people of your kind only there there exactly. are no other people no one is you know higher low because you have two hands they have two hands you have your mind they have their mind Mm-hmm. So it's just how you can train your mind to be better, and mm-hmm. that is how it has been a cake walk for me. And you know, these two recommendations, you know, uh, you know, I have learned pretty much from different subordinates of mine who come to SSB, mm-hmm. because you know, it's always a learning process. Never think that you are high or low. It is mm-hmm. not because I'm going, I'm recommended, I'm going to academy. Doesn't mean that the person who was not recommended, you know, doesn't know anything about anything. He exactly. knows something about it. He knows something about it. It mm-hmm. is just that what I actually need. you know also at the second time you know whenever the pressures actually you know post covid you know era mm-hmm. there are a lot of candidates who have been appearing for you know ssbs it is there has been a you know incremental you know increase in the ssb attempts people are giving right. i have given you know uh, ssb attempt during the covid time only it was very less mm-hmm. but as soon as pro you know post covid when they got to know that you know uh, to get a sarkari naukri people right. come here you know people mm-hmm. come to ssb for desperation just to get a job Mm-hmm. just to make sure that you know uh, to make sure you know everything runs well but mm-hmm. people don't know what actually armed forces needs mm-hmm. you know when a, when a person understand this now mm-hmm. then that's when they can recommend it mm-hmm. out of desperation i have seen people 80% of people come to ssb because of desperation mm-hmm. which is a very bad thing you are coming there to you know ssb is a very natural process exactly there's nothing to be required there's nothing to be learned of but mm-hmm. people come here because i want to get recommended i want to get recommended and you know they go with sad faces mm-hmm. and yet you know i have seen lot of my friends who have left their job bro i have left my job completely now i'm concentrating on you know ssb only they never know that they were they are fit for this or not ssb is not you know you know getting into armed forces is not about just getting recommended mm-hmm. it's about are you medical fit or not can you are you capable of taking a training in ot chennai or exactly. iim dehradun or in indian naval academy or efa Mm-hmm. are you fit in all the you know medical conditions that you know medical exam they are taking care of mm-hmm. so you have to be complete analyze yourself exactly if i am 1 cm and if my weight is 100 kg trust me i am not fit to go for armed forces because i am not medically unfit mm-hmm. but people come out there of desperation because of the society because of parental pressure because mm-hmm. of peer pressure or exactly. society is one of the major factor exactly you know they think of other things you know mm-hmm. the worst thing they are doing is they are not asking themselves whether i am fit or not they are asking each and every person who are out there uh, i am going i am doing this i am doing that of the society mm-hmm. what if is fit for a good it job mm-hmm. what if is fit for right ways what if is fit for you know uh, uh, becoming ias officer exactly so clearing you so mm-hmm. people out of desperation you know they come here you know they actually get deviated but they will be doing very good in the it sectors mm-hmm. and they come here they get deviated and you know stepping on two words simultaneously and you know okay. everything you know gets scattered there mm-hmm. so my request to all those candidates who are coming mm-hmm. please come in before coming to ssb analyze themselves first mm-hmm. then see whether it's fit or not mm-hmm. you know uh, getting into armed forces is not a easy job after getting also you know you are you are assessing every single step of your life mm-hmm. getting into armed forces mm-hmm. you know whatever the years you are ten year you are serving you know there is there are exam, examinations each step of their life there are annual conferential report there are b grade c grade d grade examinations even for promotion you have to write examinations exactly if people are just getting you know uh, getting into armed forces just because they want to get into they want to get a sarkari naukri then trust me it is not a place for them exactly you have to analyze themselves whether they are fit for it then they can go because i have seen people i have seen officers who are officers right now you know mm-hmm. in in indian navy indian coast guard i have my subordinates now in you know all these three forces and when i ask them that's the same thing they tell some people do tell them that i have i had a wrong decision coming coming to this part because i was fit you know better fit there mm-hmm. because if someone is a family man or something trust me it's not a place 
someone who is a you know parents ka lad lad respect is never a place <laughs> exactly never a place. makes sense so uh, i always request i am requesting all these candidates who are looking at this video please mm-hmm. analyze yourself whether what you are going through what you will be going through whether mm-hmm. you are medically fit you are mentally fit spiritually fit then come to this ssb mm-hmm. because post getting recommended then things are very different Mm-hmm. You know, it, each and every day examination, getting recommended, then you have to be medically fit, then you have to come in merit, then you have to go to academy. So each and every step, you know, there is competition, competition, competition. So in order to you know be in the top of the competition, trust me, you have to analyze first. Exactly. So Yashwant, one of the thing I want to know, this is a personal question I want to know that uh, what is one quality that uh, really differentiate between a recommended candidate and non recommended candidate? because everyone goes to the conference and you know and there is a partition between the some people get recommended and some have to go to conference out right so what is the one quality you feel like that person you know that differentiate between those two people i just told you you know the last uh, thing also that's called desperation okay you know uh, desperation is a major thing you know the dis- difference between recommended and non recommended candidate you know when you doing task when you doing interview there'll be a you know a set of people in ssbs where they keep on talking 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 mm-hmm. even in the dormitory even in you know wherever you go ki we need to do that you need to do this so mm-hmm. what people get is for example if i am a person and trust me i would have all work is what ssb needs okay. but me as a blind person i'll mm-hmm. go sit with people uh, mm-hmm. where they preach knowledge you know okay. at the same time when they preaching or i also you know start giving and taking ideas mm-hmm. and that actually and that moment of the time your mind gets diluted and mm-hmm. you tend to perform something which you are not okay. you know i have seen people you know discussing that that i will do this i'll do that interview mm-hmm. ask this interview ask that you know people will be like this you know there will be a fish market when you go to ssb situations when you go to you know you know just two days back i got a text from one of my fresher candidate that uh, hi hi friend uh, i was in fresher batch in alabad you know mm-hmm. you have recommended now now i'll be a repeater i have heard that repeaters are uh, no, there will be much difficult there will be fish market situation mm-hmm. and that's a misconception See, that means that he is getting influence from people exactly so that is you know in getting influence in a good way is a very good thing mm-hmm. so what i just everyone has you know take what you need mm-hmm. speak what you want you know people speak unnecessarily in you know in in, in you know, getting recommended uh you know or you know not getting recommended you know that is the major thing difference what what it happens whenever you know i i you know i go to alabad i go to coast guard also okay same thing i have observed you know even my you know uh, parents also are in the same thing here uh, you know they don't they tell me everything please be silent go enjoy the process come back and it's not to mean that you have to enjoy the process you have to enjoy the process Mm-hmm. people come in misconception ssp is a very difficult thing i'll do this Starts i'll do that no going through their notes and you know there is a lot of thing that happens in ssb exactly uh, you know in alabad also uh, uh, in, in the day one we were very tired in the day mm-hmm. one because uh, you, you get screened in then mm-hmm. your documentation happens at 7 8 o'clock you are hungry you are tired you are stressed you are mentally stressed because at the same time you are excited you are happy because you went to stage 2 exactly you know all those adrenaline rush will come into your body mm-hmm. and i have seen people because psychology is an important day of your life that is what <laughs> you know don't either see the assessor the assessor mm-hmm. won't see you mm-hmm. you know it is all what you think what you do and mm-hmm. people start getting books i have seen people opening tons of different companies of books you know different publications ki ha and when they go to ssb when they ask them what happened you know they literally you know they mess up the things there exactly see psychological test is something you know which is connected to your mind of mm-hmm. what you think mm-hmm. no matter how much hard you prepare you know you can't surpass what whatever idea you have in your mind mm-hmm. that has that I've experienced that in my life exactly trust me even psychological test bahut quick hota hai 15 seconds mein likhna response so you cannot prepare for that thing yeah, the the person who created the ssb interview they have thought about this the people can prepare and come and they have designed this exam so that how much of you prepare you will trade your personality in your papers exactly your personality traits have been expressed in your papers and not what you have learned and trust me no one can surpass this and that's the you know the then that's the one thing you know i want to tell you know people that whenever you go to ssb you know, enjoy the process don't get too much indulge in you know studying so much i've seen people they are having three books for current affairs three <laughs> books for psychological test three books for gto three books for interview like <laughs> are they coming for you i have seen whether mukherjee nagar has come to ssb place or not exactly. go to mukherjee 
really you know they'll be preparing for upsc examination lot of books mm-hmm. same aura they carry it here mm-hmm. and trust me these people you know when they're opening so much of books you know they'll get confused mm-hmm. you know when you're reading because for example if i'm reading an in a book a a book x y z mm-hmm. i am reading their idea i'm not reading my idea mm-hmm. what if a publisher's idea is you know what if my idea is more better than the publisher's idea mm-hmm. you never know exactly what i do is you know i have seen a picture i know that idea and when a picture comes a psychological test and when you are blank in your mind and you are not able to depict what picture is and you write that idea and come back mm-hmm. person this is where a person go wrong where, you know they they tend to write whatever actually there is in the picture mm-hmm. you know a psychological test is a very easy test you have to write what have what led to the situation what is the situation mm-hmm. what can in the future but they write whatever they in that book they might have given some india about india about some era or something they try to copy paste that here mm-hmm. when you copy paste ideas you know you know your mind get you know in a dilemma exactly and when your dilemma you get confused and you are not able to put up yourself mm-hmm. that is what i request people you know to be calm be composed be clear when we go to ssb please is to know? be used in the ssb exactly and, and the second thing you know what i told or defense would recommend non recommended candidate you know as i was told don't take too much knowledge don't take too much knowledge because you have already made to stage 2 that means that you are equal to all of them mm-hmm. whether he is a repeater or a fresher or a screen out candidate all are treated equally there mm-hmm. so it doesn't mean that if someone has higher knowledge or lower knowledge enjoy the process if someone is selling something listen to it whatever is needed digest it if it's not needed leave it off mm-hmm. you know people tend to that's what i've seen you know they talk too much they end up you know getting influenced and they end up getting mind manipulated mm-hmm. you know i've seen repeaters you know whenever i go to ssbs they ma- manipulate so many things ki ha agar tomorrow i'm going gd okay so everyone will speak individually one at a time trust me it never happens never in state happens mm-hmm. they never do this there will be two candidates who will be like ha i think that ha it will happen like that but it never happens exactly. so stop getting manipulated <laughs> stop getting manipulated like that because you never know you would miss a chance of getting recommended because of that thing exactly just in the process you know what you are if you had done you know made to stage 2 that means that you have it in you mm-hmm. you know you have that capability out of the 400 candidates you know 10% they take it you know not even 10 you know 10 15% they take it right that means that you have something in that lot you others don't have so please utilize that very resourcefully than utilizing on something else exactly yes one now moving to the ssp part so starting with uh, screening test screen test is something you know there is a very less approximately 10% is the screening rate right and even if we talk about direct entries it is less than 10% that candidate gets screened in so how did you prepare for the psychological test and what are the things you keep in mind while going for the screening test uh prashital me as a candidate i know i even i will tell other person to follow this the same thing mm-hmm. it will definitely work for them mm-hmm. first thing is don't go to ppd preparation unless and until you have cleared your oar mm-hmm. you know officers intelligence rating test is a much important factor of the complete ssb i can tell is complete ssb because even in piq form you would have seen in the top right corner you write they write my rpiq score mm-hmm. because uh, you know some people just defy oar telling that okay it is very easy i'll clear it off mm-hmm. trust me you prepare very hard so that your oar must always one not in 3 4 5 mm-hmm. as i told this is a marking scheme mm-hmm. you know whenever so what i did, how i prepared was i have sort some 70 80 papers of analytical reasoning mm-hmm. it is uh, you know because he have cleared clear cat, cat examinations also okay. at the same time you know verbal non verbal examinations you know ex- uh, solve papers are solved you know in internet internet is a very vast thing you get a lot of things mm-hmm. so i have i have downloaded some 100 papers on you know, a verbal and non verbal test i have solved them mm-hmm. so what made me after solving them what i got is what kind of questions i can expect mm-hmm. second thing is time see in ssb time is a very major factor exactly you know, the whole process is carried out in time only mm-hmm. even oar you will get 32 35 27 minutes of so different sets of paper mm-hmm. so practicing a lot of questions you know gets you more confidence at the same time you get more marks in oar So mm-hmm. once I have solved my papers, I used to compile my marks and see whether I fall in that category of one or two. Mm-hmm. Then I used to go for PPDT preparation. Okay. So coming to PPDT preparation, Sheetal, you know PPDT, you know as a picture perception description test, it is very easy thing. Mm-hmm. People what they do is they see a picture. Mm-hmm. You write a picture what you perceive. It may be hazy, not hazy. You know some SSB center give a very hazy picture. 
Mm-hmm. Some won't give. You know, if I go to if I if I see Allahabad, it was a very hazy picture. If I see Coast Guard, it was complete clear cut picture. You know, a drawing I can tell. It was it was that clear. So it depends upon different things. You know, different SSB centers. And in in Allahabad, I got some persons holding a paper. I made a story of what I perceive. Mm-hmm. So here, what you can do is you can practice. on how the picture you know writing the picture for example you will be given an amount of time for example you have to put up your points you know thoughts in that amount of time as i told you no matter how much pictures you perceive that picture will be different mm-hmm. you mean in a luck factor you get the same picture but don't prepare for a picture and write you have to perceive the picture and write you know that's what i can tell uh, you know whenever writing ppdt i used to do mirror practice mm-hmm. at the same time see I used to work for a company where I had to give every day long, long conferences. I had to give long meetings. I had to take long meetings. So discussion is a part of my life. Mm-hmm. Being in a being in a football team, I was football captain. I had to give a speech there. I had to convince those people. Mm-hmm. Being in a being in working in MNC, I had to talk to clients. I had to convince my ideas to them. Mm-hmm. You know, talking to my team, I had to make up that you know their tempo is very, very high. and also they are very you know focused on their goals and their career so speaking is a, you know you know a part of my life you no know, not just speaking randomly speaking for a cause right even in every part of my life, being it professional being it personal being being it sports or being it extra curricular activities mm-hmm. you no know, speaking is a very integral part of my life and trust me it has very built a very good confidence for me and if any persons who are doing this trust me you you know ppd will be a you know cake walk for them any discussions very cake walk because discussion means how well you put and trust me if someone is not very good in english trust me please learn english please learn vocabulary it plays a very major role when you go to ssb centers when you go to giving a perception because the way clear you clearly speak in your discussion the way you modulate your voices trust me people will get attracted to your voice Sure. and how you can attract your crowd attract your crowd is you know the way you speak confidently mm-hmm. i have seen people they speak very 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 fast they don't have any ideas some people get confused in their mind what to speak and what not to speak because of the stage fear they are developing mm-hmm. so because of that it is not that you go to a you know you have to be an orator to you have to be a debater to do well mm-hmm. you have different points for example yaar jab hum friends baithte hain saath mein to bakchudi itna bakchudi karte hain na ki they will so much things to talk but okay. whenever it's a platform or something we get baffled out you know mm-hmm. we are in a dilemma what to do what not to do mm-hmm. so that thing is there is nothing to be scared of and most of the people what they do is they look at the assessor eyes and they talk forget that is the say, biggest mistake somebody can do right they, you know they get fear you know assessors are looking in you know, a very frightened you know looks they are giving as you know as a, like and just like an officer we get frightened and we you know mess up the things there just mm-hmm. look at those 50 people they are all of your same kind think that he is your friend think that you are convincing your friend trust me that's how you can work right yeah you know, for ppdt preparation if you don't have anyone talk to different people increase your communication increase your vocabulary increase your english speaking knowledge at the same time as i told the more you speak the more confident you will be while you know while speaking to your different candidates over the thing at yes. the same time for example in coming to ppdt also my idea will be different from different ideas because there are 15 people sitting there 15 ideas will come and the you know the you know the gto tells a very wonderful thing write something which what led to situation what is the situation what will be the future outcome mm-hmm. but we forget that part actually that's what they are looking for they are not following the rules at all people mm-hmm. do different kind of stories people will give mahavir chakra paramir chakra for the picture it's, it can't happen actually mm-hmm. <laughs> so please be realistic to the picture they are not expecting einstein out of you they are mm-hmm. expecting what you are exactly people tend to show that intelligence in a very high colloquial level they are not expecting that mm-hmm. please be yourself that is what they are need that's it so then this is a very basic things what someone can do for you know stage one screening first one be perfect for oir second mm-hmm. thing is be clear be confident when you speak in you know ppdt mm-hmm. and always be an active participant in group discussion i have seen people they have done very wonderful stories but you know individually narrating and in gd they just sit quiet and watch others please don't do that when you are done when you narrate such a good story please go ahead and put up your points people mm-hmm. would like it and when you have done with so much confidence and you know so much modulation people right. would have listened and once you give out a point right people will get convinced to your point and they'll agree to the point mm-hmm. 
and it's not necessary that you know you have to narrate and you have to just give four five points is necessary to the topic and enjoy the process enjoy with the discussion it's exactly. called discussion because you have to discuss people don't discuss there and 50% will sit quiet 50% will tell gentlemen be calm be calm there is no calm in <laughs> exactly. they won't be calm Very you good. don't waste don't waste time in telling that gentlemen be calm and let us speak one by one they mm. won't be calm there no mm. one will speak one by one mm. you know we have the opportunity grab it and speak mm-hmm. it is like see because screening of 400 people to get 20 people is very difficult process also exactly think in that perspective so think that you have got a golden opportunity don't stop like- it give, it, give it everything mm-hmm. when you give everything then only you can a stage two things happen this is what i know i would suggest to you know people who are going for stage one yashwan now let's move to the stage two uh talking about psychological test so psycho- psychological test is one of the important factor because you give something in written and their assessors they are going to assess it uh, assess it right so how did you prepare the psychological part and how did you you know uh performed it there uh, consisting of tadvet srt st if you can give some of the tips regarding this for section yes sir uh, shridhar uh, to be honest all three tests carry the equal importance you know in ssbs may it be screening may it be stage 2 in stage 2 all three is you know are equal importance and they given you know the same you know uh, uh, for example if i come to gt or if i come to psychological interview we have to prepare all three you know on perfect ratio okay. and there are candidates who prepare only for interview they leave psychological apart they either prepare for psychological test you know they give it apart or in gto so coming to psychological test see this is the only test where you don't see assessor assessor won't see you talking assessor right. won't see you how you do in gto assessor mm-hmm. won't see how i and how intelligent you are mm-hmm. assessor won't see whether you are a president or not mm-hmm. it won't matter to you mm-hmm. assessor will only see what is in your mind and how will you put up in your papers exactly and trust me it is one of the you know very amazing thing and also very difficult thing mm-hmm. because uh these tests for example started from tat vat srt set sd are designed in such a way mm-hmm. that will bring someone's you know personality out in paper mm-hmm. you know this 3 hours of mental pressure i can tell exactly. you know, trust me trust me i if i was a candidate the worst ex- you know the it is one of the boring and it, I'm, i'm very lethargic to write the 3 hours trust me i don't want to write for complete 3 hours and you know uh be in that situation ki ha yaar ab phir se likhna hai 11 sorry likhna hai paper likhna hai uske baad you know 60 srt 60 tat 60 vat and uh, coming to you know the importance in psychological test uh, how i prepared it for myself is as i told you i didn't prepare what to write i didn't i only prepared how to be fast okay uh, for me both quality and quantity mattered in psychological test because they carry equal importance yes you can tell me that they can there are many people who are attend only 15 20 srts and got recommended mm. it is well and good but for me what i what how i prepared was you know to maintain quality and quantity both for example if they have told to write 60 that means that it means something we have to write 60 only right there is that there is you know there is a set uh, timer set questions they are written means of course that would mean something mm. so that is what i that's how i prepared it for myself mm. uh obviously a lot of knowledge is available on youtube what to do and what not to do mm-hmm. you know taking that please don't take that into consideration ki never take consideration what to write in psychological test okay i have seen people you know they as i told they write different persons ideas and mm-hmm. they they let out their ideas mm-hmm. so whenever i started writing that you know in youtube there are examinations available pre examinations available i used to open them up write that and i used to write how fast i can do how fast i can put up you know whenever i used to write that right i used to bifurcate into three things one mm-hmm. is bo- you know uh, introduction mm-hmm. body conclusion i used to write three to four lines for each mm-hmm. and i used to pertain into the picture for example if there is a picture of a man lying on a road mm-hmm. i used to give an introduction 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 would be like this india having a large number of population and traffic has been increasing gradually yet there are no developments you now to you know lower down the traffic and hence accidents have been on the rise rise since a long time this is how my introduction goes okay. then i used to bring in the picture like you know an ram or lakshman whoever it is was yeah. going on the road and he saw it and trust me i would never become a doctor there people have read that you know they went in there they gave him the they saw the blood they gave him the cpr they gave him first aid they gave him stitches they will become you know a bbs doctor then and there only which is mm-hmm. practically not possible exactly as a citizen as a citizen what you can do is 
you can call up people for help that is what a citizen will do if i would there in situation i will call up people mm-hmm. i am not that ki ha main superman hu main akesha ke akele kaam karunga no <laughs> that's the worst thing someone mm-hmm. so i was i and then i would ask to call up people for help tell mm-hmm. want to call ambulance then t- look for injuries if it is a major for example if it is a broken bone i am not an orthopedic surgeon to take it right there right and mm-hmm. i don't know how to lift also but trust mm-hmm. me that that you know what i can do is i can give him you know physical you know, emotional strength ki ha bhai you be there be strong you mm-hmm. know if there is any bleeding or something i can stop it for example i am a red cross volunteer mm-hmm. i know to give basic first aid i have been certified to give basic first aid if there is any minor injuries i will give first aid mm-hmm. then i would ask people get a ambulance go get him to the hospital then call him my immediate family member and my work is done but what people write is they give him a nobel award <laughs> he will get a nobel peace award or you know rashtriya bal puraskar or, or shaurya chakra veer chakra for his act so you know don't be so dramatic or something because you are not writing a movie script there you are writing a real life scenario exactly veer this is how people, uh, this is how simple stories i used to write mm-hmm. you know Three lines of introduction, body, conclusion. Me, kya lagta tha? He, you know, the he told police to install a police chowk. Mm-hmm. He doesn't know whether he will install or not, and he continued his life. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, that's it. Simple thing. Don't have, you don't have to give him Mahavir Chakra every time or Shaurya Chakra every time. Exactly. Or Bharat Bharat Ratna Award. Be keep it simple. And this is how we used to write eleven stories. You know, in psychological test, the stats you will get positive stories. Mm-hmm. You will get negative stories. You will get neutral stories. right you will get some you will get you can see something blood you can see something adventurous or sports activities you can exactly. see a man holding a gun you can see neutral where a person standing on a farm farming land or something mm-hmm. right what is practical what mm-hmm. is possible from a human being what is possible for me if i was at that place what would i have done that is the best answer what a psychological test can be that means that you are portraying more of yourself mm-hmm. what a psychological means don't portray that if he is a farmer you are not don't portray some you know some of the publishers book same story copy paste no it won't happen because that story will be tallied to different stories of tat bat srt and sds oh, where you will there will be no the following it won't happen there that means that the in you know, assessor will get to know that ha yaar ye to prepare karke aaya tha he has written one story which is unique that he has copy pasted from somewhere so don't do that Exactly. So for every and also some people ask if it is a negative sto- if it is a neutral story should mm-hmm. I have to create a problem depends upon you if it is a very minor problem create and solve it if it is not a minor problem you know just leave it off then and there only you know that you know, that's that that's how someone can do and for SD I used to write my own thing trust me write a very good thing in your life sorry uh, I am telling you about the blank picture sorry the blank picture of the tat I will go one by one you know print that you write eleven stories and the last you know the last story you will get a blank slide. Mm-hmm. you know 100% of people would have prepared that and come so Perfect. please prepare best incident of your life where you can push put up your best mm-hmm. now that's the best thing someone can do mm-hmm. now the best incident of your life you can portray it i portray the best incident of my life where most of the oil queues can get take see ssb is an exam for exactly. me i have to get more marks i have to portray more of the oil queues mm-hmm. so i have to portray that you know scenario of my life where i have done something so that all oil queues get ticked also at the same time it is my life scenario also Mm-hmm. And this comes to the bad part. Then mm-hmm. comes word association test. Exactly. And trust me, trust me, it is one of the, I can tell it is one of the difficult also test. What you know, the easy. Yeah, mm-hmm. the most confusing. You know, the time because the way you see 15 seconds me. आपको you know if you see the word kill, you have to analyze, think, write, and you know go to the next part. Mm-hmm. Trust me, you know this is this is one of the you know. Uh, the first and also one of the you have to be very calm to write the examination mm-hmm. and for this preparation what did i do is i practice some thousand words okay. and trust me none of the words came into the actual picture or not. i don't know whether it come, came or not mm-hmm. what i practice there was speed trust me the more speed you know the more you can capture the ideas you can look at the screen and write it here mm-hmm. you know that is the best thing that can happen So I used to write and practice so hard that so that whenever in real scenario I am be very confident and calm and composed for writing that examination. That I may hard body say hard body na karu. Exactly. I would create ruckus, you know, because of confusion because writing an examination. Mm-hmm. So just write whatever the word come, what comes in your mind come in your mind first. Write that. Please uh, place it on your platter. Please carry on with whatever you write. Mm-hmm. And after that, don't discuss with anyone that I wrote this one. Whether it will be wrong, right or wrong. Mm-hmm. Trust me, you have written your personality. 
close it then in there only mm-hmm. then comes you know after that srts right you know srt is very simple thing situation reaction test mm-hmm. again simple main mantra is what you will do if you are in that situation not what that book has written mm-hmm. for example if you are going in a train you can see people fighting if mm-hmm. i was a personal go stop it all right i'll go and stop it mm-hmm. we write that only don't write that i'll ignore and continue my journey what that book had written as i told it's a personality test your personality is being assessed mm-hmm. and it assessed in all the manners all this for example tat vat srt sds are interconnected with each other right. for example in sd in sd you will write about yourself about your parents what they have told about mm-hmm. your friends about what you want to become and if an assessor tells you that you have blank story what do you think and if that nothing matches there then that means that you are completely prepared and come of something you are copying based on someone else ideas mm-hmm. nothing is matched for example there is situ- there is an what word for adventure and you have not written that adventure word but in self description you have put that i am very adventurous person exactly it is everything is blank ah uh, and there, there there was a tag picture of you know a person who is climbing a mountain mm-hmm. and you have not portrayed the picture of adventure activity mm-hmm. and it is not tallied at all and that's how ssb is very easy you know when you break down ssb into different parts that's how easy it becomes you like okay itna aasan hai ssb clear karna mm-hmm. and then come and, and the last but not the least it is you know a self description test right. trust me what i did was ask your friends ask your parents ask your colleagues and write make a note mm-hmm. trust me rather than writing i'm ambitious they will have more unique way of telling that for example shridhar if you are my friend if okay. i ask you what you can tell about me trust me you will have a very unique perspective about me which i can put in my paper if i write on my own if i write something from a book that i am hard working i am social i am trustworthy loyal you might tell something in a different way and that is example i will be giving you i must be having an example to you know verify that uh, quality which i am telling you so that is one of the exactly. nice way to you know ask your friends parents and uh, and trust me and, and trust me this quality will definitely help in your ssb examinations mm-hmm. now that is how i prepared i i when i went i asked my manager sir what do you think about me sir why did you select me for this job mm-hmm. and never give me any way ask him if they have selected no why did you select me mm-hmm. then there will be reason then you will assess you know they will you can see your, your weak points pain points your strengths and your weaknesses right you know a person who master their strengths and weaknesses can achieve any goals in their life it's not just ssb whatever it might be mm-hmm. just know yourself you can you can you'll be a hard as a rock you can break down anything in your life right so this is how you know psychological part and and also don't get stressed out you know in stage 1 prepare so much for psychological test even though you prepare for sd or something it's fine it is it is much needed mm-hmm. but don't stress yourself in the in a, the day before in the night take ample amount of sleep so that you have that 3 hours of energy for it for sure that is what i can i want to tell for you know uh, for psychological test people all right yashwant moving to the next part interview interview is one of the crucial uh, you know part of this ssb process because you get to interact one on one so how was your interview experience you had three times when you got recommended twice so how, even including uh, your previous attempts i want to know so how was your interview experience Yes, Ethel. You know my two interview experience were you know North and South Pole. One interview which was went for one uh, one hour forty fifty minutes. Okay. I can tell more than you know uh, one fifty more than one ninety or more than hundred minutes. I can tell. And the other interview which went only for twenty five minutes. And I have but very two different views for the same. Uh, mm-hmm. Let me just start from for the course start. Mm-hmm. That's why I tell you you know taking risks is more important because. just after writing my psychological test in that stress you know the point of mental exhaustion you have got right. the jco sir comes and tells me chest number 6 you are next for interview and like sir ha ah, for interview you know just writing i just finish my exam hall he told aapko khana khana hai to khana khane chana jao jaldi aake interview ke samne aake baith jao na come to the interview you know come to the io office come and stand there i was like sir thoda to rest de do all my subordinates are like bhai ke to tu to pehla aadmi hai tu to pehla murga hai abhi so you know you are the one who will rule as has been for the next 5 days you know post as post interview everyone will ask kya question pucha kya question pucha kya nahi pucha and after the mental exhaustion now you would feel like you, you want some rest actually for your mind mm-hmm. to become calm and composed mm-hmm. that is why i tell people to take ample amount of rest the, the, the you know the, the day before so that you will have much energy for the next day exactly you would never know when you will be called mm-hmm. one after said, i i know i went in there coming to you know first i'll tell my reason then i'll go to coast guard in army it was very calm and composed interview mm-hmm. 20 25 minutes of interview 
Mm-hmm. We sat there. We had a very, you know, discussion. And because this is a technical fact, a uh, technical branch was going for a technical interview. The IO, IO was, uh, I was interviewed by additional IO. Uh, it was in another building, Halabad. There is so all repeaters were interviewed by additional IO sir. Um, at the in, and he was from I guess Army Air Defense. And I guess he he was an EC engineer, electronics and communication engineer. That I got to know when he was asking questions. Okay. The interview started with a very you know basic you know and the tempo they said before coming into the actual interview mm-hmm. they introduce you they will tell come on uh, Yashwant uh, for the next 30 35 minutes we'll be knowing each other even though I have your PIQ in my hand I want to know more much about more from you from your own mouth only that's a very common dialogue what I use you know use it before any interview takes place right. and they start like you know they uh, bring the aura like you know where do you come from how was your journey to set a comfortable pace between interviewer and you know. uh between each other right. you know when even though i didn't prepare much of if i interview like you know what advanced things i have seen people reading about cryptocurrencies of what bitcoin is and all oh my god I, I, why why do I, you know in my ssb also there was a guy who who, who, start, who was asking so many questions he said hey, what is cryptocurrency what is disrupt trading this that this that this that so like i asked him one thing have you written this in paq you would be asked Don't mm-hmm. learn unnecessary things which you won't be asked. Mm-hmm. For example, going to interview your PIQ is your kundli. Right. For example, when I go for you know, when, you, when you go for marriage, you know the you know the girls see the kundli. Nah, this is my kundli. Whether you will be set or not, that's mm-hmm. how I O C is here. Mm-hmm. PIQ is your kundli. Whatever mm-hmm. you read, whatever someone has written there, that would be asked. You will be asked. Right. That is the you know best thing you know uh, in PIQ. And my PIQ was so very colorful because I have done so many activities in my life. That there is no space you know to draw extra lines mm-hmm. in PIQ and interviewer asks why you are writing extra lines. I told sir I have achieved that I want to portray it actually. So you know PIQ is a I was just kind of PIQ is a kindly mm-hmm. please write everything whatever has happened in your life. Mm-hmm. For example coming to wherever you, wherever you are from whatever the exams you have taken. For example you have written so many examinations like KV PY NTSC National Science Olympiad which we have forgotten. Mm-hmm. Trust me, it was compulsory. It was compulsory. We have forgotten that. We we don't portray that. Trust mm-hmm. me, it is very necessary to portray what you've written. You have to write that you have written competitive examinations. Mm-hmm. Trust me, they will tell sir, I have not played any sports in national or international level. Should I write or not? They mm-hmm. leave blank and form. trust me, they would have played cricket in their in a gully cricket also. It is a sport. Yeah, exactly. There is if, if there is a winning or losing involved, it's a sport. Please write that you have played cricket. Mm-hmm. You know. You have to portray yourself that you have you have played this, you have played that. Think that you have helped someone somewhere, sometime. You work for NGO or something. Write that. People miss out on some important things. They think that okay, no, no, I have only played nationals. I have to write. No, it's not necessary. Even if you have played casually, you should write it there. Please write that national because that thing would definitely play an important role in the upcoming exam. You know, upcoming where you might be asked whether you have this quality or not. Because if you are playing sport, that you are physically fit. Simple things. Makes sense. You are you are a team player. You know what is the what is the worth? Or you know how tough is to win situations. Mm-hmm. You know how tough is to overcome losing. Mm-hmm. You know how tough is to overcome fear. These are the things which you know a sports can give it to you. And right. trust me, as someone in that to being in India, they would have played gully cricket. Mm-hmm. They would have played if they if if a person is not into sports, they would have played chess, right? Chess. If you're not into sports, they would have played kabaddi. They would have played so many marble games. You know ping pong in 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 I'm from childhood. You know right. our childhood. You know. You know the '90s childhood was completely on, you know, outdoor games. Nowadays, it is nowadays this generation is completely into e generation where they play internet games or something. But mm-hmm. our generation, which is growing, trust me, we were into outdoor games. Write all those things. Mm-hmm. Trust me, I was never, you know, when in my childhood, I was always out in my holidays. If I go take my cycle at seven o'clock, I used to come at evening seven o'clock, fully tanned, <laughs> wearing a cap, play cricket, that this Beyblade, whatever I have played in my life, I used to do that. So, <laughs> portray that in the interview. Trust me, he wants that to listen. Mm-hmm. He doesn't want to listen that you are such a ideal gentleman. No, exactly. he wants to listen how ideal you are of yourself. Mm-hmm. So, uh, first thing, yeah, write completely about your PIQ. When I come to Coast Guard interview. I was after psychological test. I, you know, after a lot of mental exhaustion, I was standing outside. The IO came from outside. So Ashwin, are you prepared? Do you want some rest? I told him, nice, I am fine. I would come this way. I'm like, okay, let me finish it and go now. <laughs> Not to give my mental. <laughs> so I sat inside. So yes. starting, starting, you know, he was. Uh, I guess he was a single star. He was. I guess he was a single star commandant. Uh, the the one who took my interviewer. 
Okay. So he started by giving, you know, uh, uh, started. He gave his introduction. He, you know, normal as I told, the next few five fifty, fifty five minutes will be going this and that. I like, okay, sir, let us start. It was a peak COVID time. Mm-hmm. I wore my mask. I removed my mask. I told, please remove your mask. Keep it here. Keep it aside. We started the interview. Starting only. He's, he he has studied my PAQ before coming to the place. Okay, he had already studied that completely. He know what he wanted to ask. Starting, he asked, "Oh, you are from Bangalore? Tell me why Bangalore is known for Silicon City? Why it's called Silicon City of India? Okay. Because Bangalore is an IT hub or something? Mm-hmm. Tell me five good things about Bangalore. Five bad things about Bangalore. All right. And I and I told this is a good thing about my city. This is a bad thing about my city. Mm-hmm. And what? And he he set a aura. You know, he wanted to know whether I know my place or not. Mm-hmm. then he started that i was a professional exp- i was a working uh, working professional he mm-hmm. asked me if you're working you're, you're working for a company mnc company right now mm-hmm. tell me how you can help me you know to you know improve coast guard website because i'm working in a cloud technology okay. i was a solution architect that time mm-hmm. working in cloud technology he told me like you know how can you help you know how can you help you know my website to look more better what oh, is- yeah. and he mentally pressured me that time mm-hmm. whenever i was giving an answer he had a question for it I told him I'll put this. You know, I would create layers of protection for your website. Mm-hmm. Then he told, then why do that happen? Why do all websites get hacked? And I have seen that even Twitter gets hacked, YouTube get hacked, YouTube get hacked. You know, all the websites get hacked. And how how come your website won't get hacked? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so he, whatever I tell, he was never letting me lose. So okay. that time I understood that, buddy, Ashwan, you have to be calm. The more hyper you become, you will lose out on this. Just agree to the fact. Tell how much it is and learn to lose. He's like, "Ha, sir, I don't know about this." He was wanting that answer from my mind. And going to next also, he gave me some gave me some SRTs because I I was I'm into so many I've done so much of trekking activities, hiking activities. Mm-hmm. He started kindly like you know why does water boils very you know by less time in you know when you go to higher altitudes. Very scientific answers I gave you, you know, because of atmospheric pressure, etc., etc. Then he told about what are the type of knots that are used in, in trekking. Seeing that Ashwan, me and you are in, in going into trekking right now, and trust me, I am very hungry right now. It is pitch dark, and there are fifteen other people. I told, I told you there is only five biscuit packets. I told you, you give me the one biscuit packets. I won't tell anybody. I am very, very hungry. Mm-hmm. At that time, what you will do? You give that packet to me or not? How will you convince me? I told him, you know how I answered was like I wanted to showcase myself that you know I'm very good leader. I told him you take only two because you have to serve for everyone. There are 15 other people in the group also. Mm-hmm. You have to you know share and work upon. I told him that no, no, I'm very hungry. I mm-hmm. want it completely. You can see he, he he was very bulky. Told have you seen my appetite? Do you think I can eat only two biscuits? <laughs> I need more. Right. I need more. Sir, then I told him. So so then I told, explain that you know. Mm-hmm. uh okay okay then i told him okay i will give you my share also sir i'll give you my whatever my share i'll i'll look for other alternatives i'll give my share of biscuits to you then he told mm-hmm. you are leading the trucking activity what if you don't have energy you are telling mm-hmm. you are you are giving your share then mm-hmm. without eating you know human beings and survive and mm-hmm. how will you survive <laughs> and then i was blank then i was like sir okay sir i was like i would rather give it or just ignore you telling that i can't give you just give a straight answer Mm-hmm. Then he was laughing for everything. Then again another SRT gave. See Ashwan, you are going to Coast Guard right now. You know Coast Guard is into maritime patrol and protection. Mm-hmm. I hope you have heard about it. Mm-hmm. I told you definitely, sir, because before this question he asked, tell me about Coast Guard. I gave the exact definition of what Wikipedia tells. Whatever the Coast Guard is, I had printed that in my mind. I mm-hmm. printed that out also towards you know towards the interviewer. Then he told Ashwan, okay, fine, you become assistant commandant now. You are going with you know two Yantheks or two JCOs and COs in your boat, patrol boat. Mm-hmm. You see a pirate ship approaching. What you will do? And I was like, sir. Uh, then it was a very that situation. Then I told, sir, uh, as per the training schedule, whatever they have trained me, I will do the training as per me. You know, whatever they are training that situation, what to do, I will do that. Exactly. Okay. You are completely trained right now. You have got the training right now. Now you are in a situation. It is you know you are, you are only four people in the boat. There are pirates with armed ammunitions. They are coming into you, telling you to apprehend whatever you have. What you will do at that time? I told that sir, I'll fight them back. I told buddy, you are only five people, and they are guerrillas. You know these pirates are guerrillas. That means they are also trained for shooting. Mm-hmm. If you shoot, they will shoot back for you. And trust mm-hmm. me, they will. You know they. You know he told me that pirates know sea better than anyone because they they live and die on sea only. Right. You tell me at that time what you will do. Then he told sir, uh, 
he i'll radio the what else when i when they were the see approaching i'll turn back i'll go to my base then get the whole squad then i'll fire them back mm-hmm. he told yesho what are you been telling you being assistant commandant do you think when you go go back do you think fire it will still be there then i told uh, sir abhi to sir ab then what i can do sir then if they come then I, then i told no no i'll be, i'll keep an eye on them from a very long uh, range sir <laughs> then you know five to six times he, i'm asking for different answers he wants to see the all views of me but mm-hmm. i was not i was not losing at that time i was mm-hmm. keeping my calm you know answering everything you know analyzing everything he mm-hmm. wanted to see how how fast i can lose how fast i can lose my tempo how fast you know i can give, give up mm-hmm. so i was giving even it is a foolish idea i was giving sir i would stay out, you know far away out radio or else i would give them a warning and send them back mm-hmm. he had double you know back as for everything that was perfectly fine that ki ha bhai ho jayega mm-hmm. then i told last sir sir last sir in the end uh, sir last in the end i would ask my subordinates are you ready to give it all i would fight them back sir mm-hmm. i would not care about the results whether it is i would either become come back as a brave soldier or a brave martyr Then you told, oh, 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 very high, Josh Ashwan. Okay, high one. You know, you know. Oh, this is how it continued. Then he asked much. You know, being in Coast Guard, he asked much about more about ships, all yeah. type of ships. For example, he, uh, that time he asked about what is the difference between Indian naval ships and Coast Guard ships. Mm-hmm. You know, we had to know uh, how does a ship work, mm-hmm. and what are the principles of working. Right. You know, most of the ships are diesel generators, diesel machines. He asked me, being an electrical engineer, how do you think you know the propellers work? or if you become one if you are electrical engineer what are the electrical equipments a ship would have mm-hmm. these basic things were there and it, you know it went on and no. also the ciq that is the normal CIQ something you can be expected that, right? that that is very common and people be calm be listen to whatever in the interview details answer the ciq is very easy thing to answer and yes because of the football player he was giving me analytical questions for example questions like uh yashwant you are running on football court first he asked me what is the length of football field right. it is 10 100 by 60 according to fifa rules i told mm-hmm. then yashwant think that you have a match right now you are a team captain you know the mm-hmm. way he was picturizing for everything he was giving a dramatic entry for every question <laughs> that made me more excited you know because because of excitement na people tend to lose out on analytical thinking mm-hmm. you know how he was portraying the questions also no he wanted to see whether i listen to the question or not properly so he was giving me questions like you know you are running now you are now you are coming to football field h1 with your team of you know we including you there are 10 other people 11 people in together mm-hmm. so you are you want to do warm up right now the football field is standing to say, as you told whatever you told i'll take it mm-hmm. so think that you are running at a pace of 6 km per hour for the first 5 minutes then you'll run at 10 km per hour mm-hmm. then you will do sprints on the length and jog on the breads and he gave me compelled so many things he told me tell me your average speed i was like what <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so, so much well, like, i was picturing everything you know i uh, uh, i was picturing everything uh, i was like you know ha this would happen that would happen ha i'm running 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 the answer was very simple actually the answer was completely simple the way he put it was different mm-hmm. because the time he told me for i will warm up for 1 hour That means it was 60 minutes. Whatever that was 60 minutes. I just have to differentiate between average speed. That's it. Speed 10, 6, 10, 6. I have to take an average and give it an answer. Mm-hmm. I was so confused that he. I took 15 minutes to answer the same thing. So okay, sir. For the I told the sir I'll answer this in steps, sir. First step is I will. You told I will be jogging. First I'll calculate the average speed. You know I answered in steps, but the main answer was the same only. What answer is to come the same? Mm-hmm. What are the average speed I have to get? But here I took in very different steps and I told him. Then he told me which one? You don't know that the speed is called distance by time. You don't. Yes, sir. I know that. But you want to put a formula? What is your answer? Why do you do so much? Me being smart, Ishwan, I told, sir. Obviously, sir. If I if I was become, I'll become an officer. I have to have a stepwise analysis of the everything. Mm-hmm. Then he was like, oh, you want to become an officer? So we are giving you stepwise analysis. Don't you think uh, you have to be smart? You have to be quick and efficient. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I had no answer for that also. <laughs> I had no answer. I told him, yes, sir. You are right. I have to be quick and efficient also. and this is how coach guard went for 1 hour 45 minutes all analytical all questions about myself what do i do what do i do yes i was from red cross you told who what is red cross who found a red cross mm-hmm. you know the things which have written in piq we ask each and every bit of it each and every bit i can tell mm-hmm. coming to current affairs he asked me current affairs 
and uh, and whenever i told current affairs you know he he told me that don't tell me about india what if i did, tell me something apart from it for example what is what is happening in chatisgarh what's happening in jammu and kashmir he was only telling me mm-hmm. and that news was you know very renowned mm-hmm. so that that is that's how my interview went you know even in this interview also technical interview in the major part he asked me about technical questions being an electrical questions he asked me about principles of electrical electrical engineering like fleming zool right and fleming zool or uh, you know solenoid rule you know rheostat rule transformers working transformers of you know faraday zool a working principle of transformers working of a capacitor working of motors different types of motors these are the things that someone has to know if exactly. they going for technical entry please be prepared that you have to know this and this is how my interview went yeah and you know uh, this is what i can you know some of you know my interview experience of those two things all right thanks for watching the video and let me know in the comment section below if you have any doubts follow for more such content jai hind